Welcome back to issue number one. It's that time of the show when we hear from you and answer your money questions. Let's get right down to it. Bob Moulton is with Americana Mortgage. Kendra Todd is a Yahoo Finance columnist and real estate broker. And CNN's business correspondent, Stephanie Elam, as always. All right, guys, let's get right down to the questions. Number one from Andrew. What is the worst, or I'm sorry, the most effective way to purchase a house without paying too much for it? Owners seem to be listing homes at the same price they paid or even higher instead of what they're worth right now in the market. Kendra, what do you make of that? Well, a home is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So people need to realize there's a distinct difference between an asking price and a selling price. So go out there and make offers. You'd be surprised. There are people that are listing their houses at half a million dollars, but at the end of the day, they're accepting 380000 Wow, that's a big difference. Bob, I want you to weigh in because you're in the marketplace. You know what's going on. Tell us just a little bit about what you're seeing with pricing. Kendra's in Florida. You're up here in the New York area. You know, the pricing is very localized, and people do have their houses out there still at the high water mark somewhere where we saw prices in 2003 2004 if you think you want to pay a lower number for that house if the house is listed for 400,000 you want to pay 350 or for 300 and meet somewhere in the middle Low ball. everything everything is negotiable each seller is motivated very very differently people ask me for advice should I lowball you know 10 percent find out from your realtor why is that person willing to sell or go on your own gut sometimes if you know a lot about the marketplace let's ask answer Jennifer's question in Arkansas she asked if interest rates are going down why are the long-term mortgage rates going up Stephanie make sense of well, these you know, rates. The thing is everyone hears the Fed funds rate that's the rate that we hear all the time that they're cutting well actually your long-term mortgage rate that's actually connected to the 10-year Treasury yield so that is actually controlled by bond traders and so they're worried about inflation so if the Fed cuts rates then they're worried about inflation so they're going to demand more and therefore your prices your are mortgage going up. rates go, go up. up very well done a uh, Devender, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, what help is there for people who lost their down payment and their equity due to falling prices? Our bank doesn't want to refinance because we owe more than the house is worth. Now, Kendra, so many people caught in this horrible situation where they owe more than the house is worth. What do they do? You know, I wish there was a, a straight answer for such a screwed up real estate market, but there isn't. Um, you know, the best answer is they're, they're just going to have to, to wait it out or try and negotiate with the banks. They do need to realize that lenders do exist to do more than just collect monthly mortgage payments, and they're getting in situations where they are willing to negotiate in some cases. All right. Tough situation. Now, this is a similar situation that we saw about 15 years ago. Prices went up dramatically in the 1980s dropped in the early 1990s and you really have to ride it out it's like buying a stock if it goes down the following week hold on to it if it's your primary residence you're enjoying it you're getting a tax uh, write-off enjoy the home make the payment and hopefully it'll come back in five five years it can or so. be easier said than done though yeah, a lot of yeah. people out there really have to move it's a tough it can be a vice grip for some folks out there Audrey asks, my husband and I have been looking for a home for the past two years with no success. Our purchasing power is 410000 The homes are so overpriced. How does someone in our circumstance find an affordable home? Bob, weigh in. You know, talk to your realtor. Go on to Zillow. Go on to Property Shark. Do your homework. You need to understand what's happening in your, in your marketplace. You need to understand where prices are going. They could be dropping 5%. They could be dropping 10%. People are looking to buy the house at the absolute bottom price. But again, if you're going to live in it, if you're not a speculator, you have great interest rates right now. Mortgage rates are at 6%. True. If you wait for the prices to come down, mortgage rates could be at 7 or 8. You're going to be locked into a higher payment. Guys, great answers, tough questions. Kendra Todd, Yahoo columnist Bob Moulton, who's right in that industry, and Stephanie Elam. Allie, over to you. Thank you, Jim.